Hi there, I'm Drake and welcome to another day on Dartmoor and it's a beautiful day here, not such a beautiful day for one of our trees here. And down in the woodland I discovered today that a tree had been um, badly bitten and chewed by a grey squirrel. And what they've done is they've stripped off all the bark and gone down to the what's called the phloem which is basically the vascular system for the tree. So it's the, um, the, mater the actual structure of the tree that transports all the sugars and food for the tree. Now, when that's scraped away, it's a little bit like if you, you know, if you tied a band around your finger, after a while it would go blue and a bit longer after that, it would just drop off. And it's pretty much the same thing with a tree. It will die from this level upwards. And now the reason why squirrels do this is a little, still a little bit of a, um, an inquiry that's going on. And some think it's to do with um, taking the material to build their drays, their, their nests. Um, some think it's the idea is so they can sharpen up their teeth, practicing using their teeth for, for the young ones. Um, I've no idea, um, but um, given by the amount of material just left on the floor, I imagine that they're just simply just stripping it off as a kind of practice. Now, fingers crossed, they won't do that with too many trees, but they've done it with this one. And I'm going to show you a really, really simple technique. And if you ever see a tree that's been, um, you know, chewed on like this, then, you know, perhaps you might like to take the time to do a repair job on the tree. And all you have to do, and that is if, I might add, it hasn't gone all the way round. If it's gone all the way round, still do it, um, but there's less of a chance of survival. This one has got about a third of the bark still intact. So it's really well worth me taking the time to see if I can heal this tree. And so all I'm gonna do is take some moss. So I've got some moss here, which I have just soaked in the pond. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to apply it to, to the tree. And it's like creating a little compass, really. But you put that onto the tree and then I wrap it with a you know, small bit of an old plastic bag. And you just wrap that tightly all the way around. And the idea is you keep the moisture in. And I'll just get around here and I'll tie it off. I'm just using a bit of um, Gorilla Tape because it's uh, the stickiest, strongest stuff that I've got. And I'll do an another bit further up. And really that's all there is to it. And, you know, as, as you can see, I'll just uh, pan it up a little bit, but it's going all the way up here that they've been stripping away. And they've gone all the way down to here. And, that's it really for me for today. Um, really take care of trees. If you see something like this that happens, then, you know, take the time to do some healing. You know, bandage that tree up and it's, there's no reason why it should die. And if we can do all do something like this, then that's great. Plant a tree by all means. Um, but if you see a tree that's been damaged, then look and see how you could repair that tree, how you could heal that tree. And, you know, silver birch, they're an amazing tree. And they're one of the first trees that came over to the UK after the Ice Age. And they're known as the pioneer tree because they were the first to get to the country. And, you know, when they're reclaiming land, they're often the first tree to do that. And then the rest of the forest comes up behind them. So they're a special tree, they're a pioneer tree. So let's give these pioneer, pioneer trees a little bit of love and care. And really that's it from me today. Thank you very much for your time and I really hope you have a great, great day. Thanks again, bye bye.